So I'm going to show you a different examples, maybe. So for example, like this mitochondria, mitochondria samples, if you want to calculate the lens, so we can also use, for this kind of samples, we use the loop, the threshold best. So now you can have this uh, filament trace result, which I did from the uh, threshold best algorithm. And then now you can calculate, measure the, the length of this individual, individual uh, mitochondria. But these are you know, all linked together, so it's not easy to, to separate. So maybe here you can just see the some uh, total lens, total lens or uh, branches. Okay, so here it's hard to select. Okay, so now you can see this one is all uh, linked. But here, if you want to, you know, separate them by uh, manual. So as you can see from image, it's really hard for Imaris or software to automatic detect. But here, if you want to manually uh, separate these uh, areas, I think you can do a selection the point. And then maybe you said, okay, I want to separate from here. Then you can set a split, only one connected part. I think there is the, a way to, to separ separate this, this, uh, oh, I think, I think you can delete. Okay, so you just delete, delete from the uh, middle. For example, if you think these two should be separated, you just use the point and the select here and uh, you just click uh, delete. So now there is a gap between these two then Imaris will consider these two as these different uh, dendrites. So you can, by doing that, you can try to uh, delete this point in between and uh, separate the linked dendrites. Okay. So now this is one segment and this is one another segment like this. So you can still do some manual uh, edit based on this result. So this is one example of using uh, filament tracer to analyze the lens of the mitochondria. So it's not limited to actually the blood vessels or neurons, any kind of filamentous structure, you can try to use these algorithms.